four people are confirmed dead and another is missing after a charter boat sank in gale force winds off North Cape. Five others, including the skipper, were rescued. The group were returning from the Three Kings Islands, northwest of Cape Rianga last night, when mammoth seas engulfed the vessel near Murimotu Island. Karen Rutherford reports. In the dead of night, a hint of the fishing charter boat enchanters upturned hull. Lit up by searchers eager for any sign of life. We are still treating this as an active uh, search and rescue operation and we're holding out every hope. And this is what hope looks like. The clearances are good. At your discretion if you want to tack right towards the target. The Northland Emergency Services Trust helicopter plucking five survivors to safety just after 11 last night in a precarious nighttime mission. And they were winched out of the water by the helicopter and they are now in Kaitoa Hospital. Approaching the deck, medicals on the deck. Rescue helicopters, Landsar, police and commercial fishing boats learned of the Enchanter's plight just after eight last night when a distress signal was set off. Gale force winds of 55 knots were slamming the boat just off North Cape with 10 on board. Enchanter's skipper Lance Goodhue radioed in two hours later then lost signal. So they've just come down from the Three Kings, down the Serval Cliffs, around the corner to go to anchor in here, and they've just worn a big one broadside on and, and just taken the wheelhouse off. Nat Davies' commercial boat joined the Enchanter's sister vessel heading to the search area, but it wasn't until after 11 that that first rescue helicopter got overhead, grounded until then in ferocious weather. If I'd been in the water for approximately four hours, I would say hypothermia would be setting in after that time frame. The skipper was among those winched to safety. All are in a stable condition in hospital. Absolutely horrendous seas. No one should have been out in that. News Hub understands the group had been on a five-day charter with the popular Enchanter Fishing Company in the Three Kings Islands. Marlin fishing is the best it's been in a decade. But uh, Nat Davey really questions good. why any boat was out there in the first place. There's no excuses these days with the way the weather forecasts are and, and that sort of stuff for people to take those risks in a small boat or a big boat. Something multiple investigations will now look into. Karen Rutherford, News Hub. Ebido Driscoll joins us now from Mangwonui, where the fishing chart is based and where the trip set off from. Kia ora, Ed. Do we know anything about the victims of this tragedy? We do, Mike. We've heard the names of three mates who are all from Waikato. The first is a man named Richard Bright, the second Mike Lovett, and the third is a man named Mark Sanders, and he was a builder from Te Awamutu. I've just been on the phone to his father, Graham, who said the family is just devastated by this loss. Uh, he says that Mark was on the trip of a lifetime, and he had been planning it with his mates for more than a year. Mark loved fishing, and just last night, a few hours before this tragedy, he actually called Graham and the family to check in with them and to say just how much he was loving the trip. Mark leaves behind three beautiful children and a lovely wife, according to Graham, and they are still very much coming to terms with what has happened here. Uh, the five survivors we now understand have been discharged from Kaitai Hospital, and tonight there are reports that a fifth body has been found, but we've just been speaking to police and Maritime New Zealand who are coordinating this response, and they say that the search for that fifth person is still ongoing. Ibido Driscoll, Tanakwe.